Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Menghua campaign. This is episode 16. We pick things up from turn 104 in the spring season of 211. So, uh, last episode we realized the true size of Duchy of Wu and we became uh, entered into a mercenary contract with them to wipe out the last faction here in Nanhai. Now they have armies coming down themselves, which means they'll probably take the lifestyle, uh, the farmland. We are sieging the city. Uh, wasn't a clean fight, and we also have a sapping picked for the siege weapon, so we can't technically fight them this turn. Oh, let's pick up night battle. We honestly should let him lead, because if he leads, we get formations. Because commander, commander generals. Becoming the commander of the army gives you unlock for formations. I honestly think we should die for the farmland first and just give up this fight. Because it actually doesn't do us any good to win this fight here. And we... Oh, we can't delegate because we cracked open the walls? No, we have elephants. That's right. We have elephants. Um... Do we need this win right now? I need the farmland. The question is, can I still get the farmland if I don't get this win here? Because I could just pull out, go take the farmland, which I think is what I'll do. I want a long contract with Lady Wu. We don't want to fight. Now we're not going to heal anyways. Uh, where is it? It's here. I think we want to enter through here. Oh no, I lied. He can't reach. Okay, perfect. We'll be able to pick this up. I want the food. And then we can gift this one over at the end for a big boost of the contract. But it'll be wiped, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see, who else leveled up? Probably a cave lord? No, a Simon character? A Simon character. Well, pick up reach. Uh, let's go through our armies. Duosu's army is taking the pass. Which should be a delegate win this time. No elephant in this army, so we can't actually just take it right away. He has an excellent weapon. We handed him the golden G. Now, do, I think we have to fix it. Now, I don't understand why it had holes in it. It made no sense to me. Uh, Zhou Tai still doesn't have the relationship boost, but once he does, this army pretty much becomes invincible. Especially if I give them an elephant, because then they can just siege everything. Um, I'm gonna un I'm thinking about unleashing Zhou Tai just onto the rest of the world here, and then we also want to crush them. Hmm. Can we defend this? See, I'm not sure about map types because we got really screwed over... I think over here. It was a toolmaker and the map was a livestock farm. That was just really bad. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to land here. I don't know if I want to declare war on Yuan Shu. I'm kind of tempted. I can easily ambush here. This is like the perfect ambush army. And I can just unleash him onto the world. They'll eventually get Oathworn. Alright, we'll come defend this. I mean, if the map is messed up, we are in trouble. But if the map isn't messed up, we'll be fine. Oh, he can't even reach us. Let's see. Okay, they're all off their assignments. Hmm. What do we need? This would be the best force, but he doesn't get along with either one of them. Jian Yong has a cavalry. Everything else sucks.
Hmm, I'd rather him do assignments. Alright, let's see how our army is doing over fight. here, because we got trapped. Alright, we got trapped. So, ideally we want to fight in this county. We retreated across the river, which is quite interesting. This army's here. It's on March. Ooh, we can do something. Okay, so. This might have worked out perfectly. Nobody can deal with this. And we'll deal with this right here. And this should just be an easy delegate victory. High casualties because their health will lose a lot. It's not that we'll lose a lot of units. So, no one's interesting here. No unique models. I mean, Song Jinting, this is Gong Sun Zan's wife. Uh, Jiang Qin is actually a Wu officer, historically, but he's not in this case, and we'll just be recruiting him because he has a huge cavalry stock. Perfect. Alright, so our Burren officers are a little bit beaten up, but we can chase and wipe them off. This is Gong Sun Zan's wife army after all. Perfect, and we want this armor. It's just silver, but we still want it. Ooh, no armor. Unless we kill him. Uh, I don't really want it. We're friendly. The way that we're fighting, Gong Sun Zan is going to be our best bud very soon. Just beating him, releasing him, and employing him. I think if we look at the situation here, right, Cao Cao two full stacks, Yuan Shao two stacks, Gong Sun Zan's kind of wiped. Yuan Shu is not that strong. Liu Bei is probably going to lose Nanyang, which is good because then we can complete it. We'll defend here in Xiangyang. Liu Bei is healing up here with Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. I really wish he would send Zhuge Liang onto the map. I really want to meet him. Yeah, Zhuge Liang is just not on the map. So we'll let Liu Bei lose some army and lose some men, and we're going to declare war on Yuan Shu. He's in war with Zheng Jiang, but we have an um, active mercenary contract, so there is no need to try to squeeze anything out of here. Most people like us. He has land in the north. Oh no. We forgot about this. We forgot about this. Okay. That was a big mistake, but should be a very interesting mistake as we're now officially at war with Lady Wu. Alright, that's why we didn't touch Yuan Shu. Because he had this ally. Now we really need to take it. So that we have a landing spot to fight Huang Gai's army. Oh, things are gonna get spicy. The world at war. For real this time. Hmm. Okay. We're going to need to get a second army out here. So against Wu's army, Axemen are really good because they have shielded Axe himself. And low morale is their weakness, so we'll go Fire Archers on... who has good cunning? No one has good cunning. That's an instinct. That's also an instinct. Oh, you guys are trouble. I mean, we would still want fire archers. And then some sort of anti-cab, which I think we're defaulting to javelin spear guards right now, just because they're much more superior than shield of the south. So they're the only spear option with a shield, which kind of means we default to them. Alright, we have a new army ready to come assist them. We probably want to start attacking Tongwu. 
That should mean we also get our food back. No longer trading that with them. I will maintain one tier. Yong Tuna, who is good at instinct, good at nothing, good at oh fire arrow. Same army setup. That's our default for the fight against Wu. Alright, we're going to mobilize our armies that we have stationed. Mm -hmm. Alright, since we did declare this expensive war, let's go this way. We're going to come out of Shangyong and enter the central plains to help out Meng Huo. So these will crush everything here, but right, that's the goal. In the south, it's going to be it's going to be difficult. We're going to move them over here. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, yeah. Uh, that's not what I wanted, but that's fine. I wanted to just cross the river, land over here, take the land route, not make it so complicated. But this is what we have to do. I'm going to move them up into the river land over here what a mess what a mess we have created always check their alliances all right so we have a lot of saved up money but we are running out of income we have a bunch of assignment that timed out so industry assignment definitely need to come back over here Zhang has the commerce we could do commerce and spice here, It'd be 345. That's not a bad base. It's actually a pretty good base. Okay. All right, we're max build. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Yobe doesn't want to trade with us. 99 point, oh my god. Our vassal trending towards 403. Unfavorable deals with us? What do we do to them? We can convince Domin. Uh, it's not close. Peace. Ooh. I can't peace out with them. We gotta take their land. I just went to war with him. Ma Teng would actually remove a pretty big headache. We don't need to go into Du, hold Jiameng Guan, hold Hanzhong, move troops north. Just wiping them out here. Alright. I'm busy elsewhere. I really can't fight you right now. I do have spare food now. This way we get like sort of a 10 turn non-aggression pack of sorts. I mean we de defended Liu Bei against so many wars. I don't understand why he is unhappy with us. Han Sui is really close too. Lady Wu, I'm sure after we beat her a couple times, she would want to peace. You would also remove a lot of headaches. Our brother's army can turn around and help the actual war effort. We're gonna get this peace worked out. Why are we keeping this? This is never gonna be used. Two food. All right, we're just going to give him point three. All right, so the two army that infiltrated, we don't have to worry about anymore.
Gong Sun Zhen has one army here. One ambush party here is fine. Alright, these two can stay here. They can basically hold against future aggression. Or honestly, we can have one army like ambushed here, and that will solve all sorts of problems, and they can move on after wiping this out. They can come out through this area too. Our brother can turn around and land over here to help take down Badong. They don't actually need to go anywhere. But, like he can go back to the past, he can go back over here. Our brother will come over here and take that. Okay, I think that works. And then Meng Huo will wait a little bit to heal. Defend Xiangyang against all of this. Wait for- actually no, he can bust over here for Shang Yong so that we can unleash Zhou Tai a little faster. Okay, we're gonna let Liu Bei lose some land. The south is right now the main concern. We activated two emergency armies. Hopefully that will work. Uh, let's continue and find out. All right, our ambush work against Gong Sun Zan's army. Tian Kai. Okay, that's his vassal. Or well, he's not actual vassal, but eventually will be his vassal in the 194 start. Night battle. Just simple delegate. We're in our own territory. We'll heal up. They can't. They're so far from home. Okay. We'll be releasing everyone. Alright, we got ourselves a general. More children coming of age. Oh my god, they all had kids in the same time. Shamoko has a new kid. We haven't had a child yet. I don't know what's going on. I guess we don't get along, but... It's kind of ridiculous now. We've been married for so long. No kids and all these kids coming of age. Uh, cutting... Cave Lord. What is she good at? I guess we've been going for expertise. Let's stick on that. Cave Lord. Assignment character. Potential future administrator or Cave Lord. Uh, one, the kids, he's good at resolve. I guess we just go all in. He had a lot of time picking up traits Well, you know, coming of age. Ooh, a tamer. Yeah, all these. So she's the new talent we got, I think. And these are the kids. Ooh, this is, uh, this is a new talent. No, this is someone who's been with us. Never mind. Yeah, there's no way we got someone with 50 points from the kids. It's all going to be super generic stuff with the kids. Uh, but good traits. Anyhow. This is the pressure point on Mulu. We need to be able to recover quickly. Um, night battle. I'm going to fight this one myself. I'm going to use Mulu to run all over them. So we take no loss. And we can sort of heal. Um... Yeah, so I'll cut to the end. It'll just be trampling them over, so see you guys at the end. Alrighty, so our plan had to change. Hulu got so injured that I just suicided him at the end. I... Why is it showing him as not dead? I suicided him. He died. That is weird. I wanted him to be full healed after a turn. This is not good. Wait, I, I totally knocked him out. He was not there. He died on his elephant. What is this? Can a man not die? Ugh, that's awkward. Hmm, that's really awkward. Yeah. So, we can stand behind it. I don't want to be caught in a garrison fight. That's suicide. Guaranteed suicide. I don't know if we can hold it. So I'm not going to upgrade it yet. Now this army has to go put out this fire. How are they going to attack us? Land, go for the... so yeah... We can loop them though. Alright, rebellion's probably not going to happen here. Okay, we're just going to summon some new general then. Too far. We can either use him... 
or just our kids. Oh, actually, no, Jiang Qin. Ah, use a Wu officer against the Wu. That's how we do it. We're sending a few kids. We'll get rid of their retinue. Get rid of the one non cavalry. I think we're safe now. Even if he comes, we have the looping mechanic, we have some generals with cavalry, should be fine. Cataphracts. Alright, this army is going to counterattack. We're also going to counterattack over here. Going to pick up the rest of Wu Lin. Jinhuan Sanjie's bonus is what? Military supplies? That's kind of lame. Okay, it doesn't have anything too special about him. Generic wife. He might have the highest cunning, actually. Alright, gotta reselect. That's why we saved up a ton of cash. We're gonna just continue with our default build. Alright, we're gonna go take that. Our brother's army. Now that we have made peace, get them all to the right place first. No, no, no. Up, up, up into the pass. There we go. Alright, they're depleted. <laughs> they're depleted and marching, and it's gonna drag a reinforcement army in. The problem is they're not fighting in the right county, because our debuff for the... Hmm. We're just gonna run them behind. We also want to heal. Alright, we're in reinforcement range. We'll heal like this. Let someone siege us, it's okay. These are free fights. It's okay. We have high replenishment. We just need them to keep fighting so they can build the relationship. Do we have any Othorn? Not yet. Come on with your wife. Make it happen. Oh, he sent an army over. His son, Yuan Yao. Okay. Good luck. All right, we wipe them. They're on Gongsun Zan's. Uh, they're on Ma Teng's land, which would mean we would piss him off if we fight here. But he's ready pissed off. So if the AI can stop on our land all the time, we're gonna stop on his land. All right, it'd be nice if we can. Uh, Wipe this out. Okay, that's a wipe. It shouldn't be on the map anymore. Perfect. Perfect. We're gonna ambush here. That's gonna be our defensive force for both this area. He can actually move out and defend some of these lands. She can also move out over here. Making a push for the central plains. Alright, we put ourselves defensive position there. I think all the army has moved, at least all the relevant ones. We're only making 500 now a turn. We're pretty much dipping into our savings. Uh, war will make us some money by fighting, so it's not going to be that bad. I'll continue to upgrade these passes. Huge money drain, but it's fine. It's the new thing. You gotta try these passes out. Right, we're not upgrading because it's gonna get attacked. Alright, we're good. I think, uh... This is where I'm worried the most, but I think we'll be okay. We haven't moved them, so we have a response here. So I think we can just attack Nanhai, help them out. Or as they leave for Changwu, we take Changwu. 
not very well built. They're selling food. This is a disaster here. I'll take Nanhai Trade Port. Hmm, that might be the way to go here. Alright, we still need to heal. Right, we'll finish replenishing and then we'll sail. Alright, let's hope for the best here. Let's go. Alright, they bypassed the city to attack our army. I like our chances. We still have a good number of elephants, 21. They don't have any major cavalry, 2. We can stop oh, 3. We can stop over the rest. We have a good amount of axe unit to kill off the shield. You see how they have so many shield. Perfect counter. Fire to lower morale. We have some cavalry of our own to run down their one. Oh, we, run, we can run down all of these actually. I like our chances and we have some reinforcement that's pitifully useless. Let's, fingers crossed, let's kill them. Alrighty, so like the trees, we don't have much in terms of fire arrows. That's just going to be a distraction that's useless. Hmm. We don't have tigers for this one. Low health, that's the problem. I thought I got him killed. Didn't let me kill him. Hmm. The general's health is the main concern. We have to kill their general with our units mainly. We have no counter cavalry except for our elephants. Our cavalry is kind of thin, but it's strong enough to wipe out the enemy range, which is only one. These guys will hide in the back. Fingers crossed. Here they come. Alright, we're gonna try to draw a few of them back. They don't see any of us here. We're gonna show them some. I don't want them to all go back because that's the only visible unit. I just want them to send like maybe a couple cavalry back. Just so this has some value just to distract. Alright, we're out in the open. Come get us. You see how once we have the commander here in the first position, we got all sorts of formations available to us. They can use turtle? Wow. Oh, that's sick. That's really sick. Oh yeah, come 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 towards our uh, turtle units. Like Alright, they're sending their main force over there. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that distraction. See, with Turtle, 500% charge resistance, I don't think they'll do much to us. We'll get the drum playing closer. That's a decent turtle formation. Run back into our formation. It didn't really work. Didn't. I mean, we're not pull arm unit. Understand? There's no charge reflect on us. It just gives us 500% charge resistance. So I guess we did protect ourselves. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm assuming it could have been a lot worse. All right, more cavalry coming. 
Now we're here just to wipe them out. I'm gonna send... Yeah, these on him. Okay, they're gonna recover. stop them that was a good one. Oh, look at that look at that turtle useless turtle formation unleash All right. we're good against shield we're just gonna fight them they don't have their range with us the cavalry already been spent so we don't need to be staying turtle come on loop around What is this elephant doing? Charge through that cavalry. Alright, we'll come try to kill the cavalry. We have cavalry too! You just gotta capture a high army. Right, we're here, guys. Big boost, big boost. Alright, they're wiping out our garrison. We're wiping out their force here. Alright, if maybe Mulu has a friend bonus with. Her, that might be a small heal, like a very small heal. Alright, reorganize our forces here if everyone's routed. Ah, we beat him, okay. Finish that. Just some mercenary infantry, mercenary archer, Huang Gai, which is a big headache. And what what else is behind? Spear guards? Okay. Well, archers problem number one, but we can beat that with formations. There's a couple that's still stuck in turtle, that's why we can't select all of them. Where's the yeah, this the sixth one? Oh, we don't want to get shot. Come back. Why are they not fully routed? They're like plus three. Okay, they're done. fight in the forest. the attack and defense boost. Oh, they're shooting at our elephants. Okay. We can't hide here? We're, we're hidden. We are clearly hidden. Yeah, stop shooting at us. That's nonsense. 
Okay, they're shooting our cavalry. That's good. That makes more sense. All right, that's gonna be tough. I'll break that. Nope. Let's team up. Charge them. Swarm him. Elephants, use your powers. Alright, one of them changed his speed. The other one still morale boost. Morale boost is very important. Go try to kill the cavalry. Charge! Crazy fire base! With elephants! There we go. Alright, we're just gonna swarm him. Smash, smash. Boost. Roar. Archers against elephants. Good luck. Ooh, tossed one. Oh, okay, that's not fair. Alright. One guy's gone. Alright, we got out of this one. Stomp here. Mercenaries versus Nanjong Champions. Nanjong Champion got this. Alright, that's the win for us. Elephants so chill with all these fires around them. Alrighty. Let's see what happened to Huang Gai. Captured. Give us a weapon, give us his horse. Captured. Not gonna execute. We're gonna release. We'll take your replenishment. Alright, guys. Oh, we like energetic. We see Sun Ren. We see Sun Ren right here. 22 year old. Our younger brother should think. Oh, he changed directions. I thought he was coming here. Well, we still need to defend here. Time to attack. These should be all empty. There's no way Wu has that many armies. I mean, we've been preparing for this day since a long time coming. Even though we entered the war when we were not prepared for it, but we had armies all in the right positions. He's gonna go deeper, pick up all these food producing counties. We're mainly interested in the counties right now. We can't really afford a lot of cities. All right, this is a huge mess that we have to take care of. We could go fight Tai Ma or we can just come down here and get Ba Dong. That's what we're gonna do. We don't need help here. We have plenty of help here. Oh, he's blocking us. Alright, they're just returning. That's fine. We can take the longer route. No, that's that's silly. Alright, we need to heal. We're gonna go here. If they want to come fight us, they're welcome to try. This is where things are messy. So who's sieging? Yuan Shao is sieging. Cao Cao is just walking by. Cao Chun, Cao Ang, okay, sons. <laughs> Yan Yu, we met him when he fought for Liu, uh, Liu Zhang, Lady Liu, that's Yuan Shao's wife. Very old, right? 59, yep. Zhao Ang, who's in this army? Yuan Shang, his son. Zhou Zhi, Wu Hu, okay. Wu Hu, Wu. useless people. Relatively healthy? Could be healthier, but... I... Wow, they have three armies here, I just realized. Gongsun Du. So Gongsun Zan's... Um, 
Oh, this is not Gongsun Zan. So his neighbor, so he got wiped probably by Gongsun Zan and then joined Yuan Shao. And then we have Dian Wei's army who's serving Wang Bao Lan's faction. This is Liu Dai's old faction, I believe. Wow, okay, we are surrounded. Oh, we gotta save the city first. Wow, another army. Alright, so we're gonna drag in the sieging army with him. We can night battle these one by one. We have to fight this. There's no way we'll let delegates ruin our health. Your army's rather weak. Hmm. Should we fight this? I think we should. Let's go. Alrighty, so uh, quite an open field map and one of the major weaknesses of any army that uh, Yuan Shao tend to have is the lack of anti-range protection, which we'll try to exploit here. And I'm going to try to use the Tigers as a defensive counter-cavalry tactic, as in like when the cavalry come, we unleash on them. We have no real anti-range here, so, uh, and anti-cavalry, that's what I was trying to say. We have a bunch of anti-range, it's called Generals. Dai Lai can get a duel, hopefully, that will heal him. Lady Zhurong can go throw some daggers. I'm just going to leave this like this. Like when we have these three generals in a fight, it's really about how strong the generals are. And look at their uh, range units. Because we have three Bruin officers in this county, they have almost no ammo. Okay, we have a willing duelist. Oh, the sun. Okay. Very. We, we will decide the fight. Give us a little bit more experience that way. They don't have towers? Oh, they do. Okay, I was like, not shooting at us. Usually, you know, during defensive fight, they have towers. They have no relationship? Yeah, no relationship. Throw it. Nice. Uh, I'm just gonna back off. Oh, he didn't get hit. Some soldier took it. Which unit got hit? One of them's getting killed by poison right now. Or did we just miss? We hit air? No way. Oh, we barely used our abilities. Killed. Oh, he's on the move. Stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. He would die if he gets hit. He got hit. He's dead. Right, we're gonna get out of here. At least we'll get out of the tower range. Oh, they're never gonna charge us, right? Right, they're never gonna charge us. Never mind, we're just gonna go capture that tower. I just realized they're never gonna charge us. Okay, not charging the horses into those. Oh, we can rear attack that. Nice roar, nice smash, a different type of roar, that's a lot of morale damage. Yeah, that's a lot of morale damage. He's not gonna die from this, but he's gonna take a ton of damage. Ah, didn't hit him. Keep hitting the troops, yeah the troop, this troop got poison. We capture the tower? Good. Alright, maybe we'll just save the troops. Seems like our general have this under control. They all have a morale debuff roar, which is what's killing them. That light, whack him. Go get him. We can ignore these. Uh, second type of roar. Charge in. Catch you on fire. 
Different type of roar. Headbutt, headbutt. Let me use it. Alright, they're done. Alright, that was relatively clean. Moho took a bit more damage than I would like. We're gonna let them retreat, it's fine. Yeah, it's night battle, double roar, and fire. We might capture a bunch of them. We're gonna recruit all of them, if we can. Yeah, if we can, we'll recruit. If not, we'll grab the release. What did he bring us? Uh, decent units. And Preacher... Okay. Alright, so we're gonna have to night battle another one. And the big advantage here is the night battle will bring in the garrison because he's sieging it. So they will all come. And this will be actually really low. So actually, I kind of want to just delegate this. It'll be actually low. Yeah, relatively low. Like, most of the deaths are probably on these guys. Ah, caught you again. Grab. Siege weapon for us. See, we're making money now with our armies. Alright, we can't move very far. We have movement, just that anywhere we move we'll be fighting and then we'll be cross river, then we'll be in a bad situation. So I think the best move is actually to ambush. Hide. He's just here for debuff. We're still in a super tough situation and I can't get help over any quicker. Yeah. This, this is the life now. Monghua is fighting for dear life over there. We actually have some uh, melee calves. Alright, we're full healed. They're coming towards us, so I think we just respond with an ambush. Alright, we survived Huang Gai. We're not gonna let him survive us. It's okay, we are on friendly territory, we can heal up. Just gotta bring him down for sure. Capture? Oh, Huang Gai is ours. Beautiful. You can, Tai Xun, you can go wherever you want. I don't care. And we can upgrade this. Oh, we're spending a lot of money, but it's okay. Oh, we got Huang Gai as well. Beautiful. One eyed, okay. A little shabby, but that's okay. We'll return his horse. Give him a more military one. We'll be sending him out here to attack Wu with all mercenary units. They'll be fully healed and ready to go. Maybe this is where we need them. Because they'll be fully healed and ready to go. Oh, he can't be employed. He can't be he can't be deployed this turn. But next turn, we pop him out. And maybe even just pop out the siege weapon army. Or actually, maybe we use him. Onyx dragons. See, these won't be passed on if we don't summon them, but. I kind of just want them for the assignment right now. I don't actually care about the third. We just want Huang Gai out here. They get along too, and these will be all instantly replenished, and that'll be a second, you know, battle ready force for us. Alright, they're all replenishing. Yeah, just a mess, uh, but hopefully we'll get out of it. Got some buildings to take care of, starting from the top. Okay, that's fine. It's full build. These are all full build.
Okay. Any new changes? We've been pretty friendly with people releasing them. Yuan Shu might become our vassal, in my opinion. Okay, never mind. Too proud. Ah, uh, do we want to take that level nine city? Oh, this is actually close. We can dump him some items. How much is this trade worth to us? A thousand four hundred fifty. Okay. Uh, what's the chance of him backstabbing us? Oh, he's peaceful, personality-wise. Okay. Maybe it's worth the investment then. We're probably still gonna have to give a lot of money. Well, too much money. Actually, he might be poor, and he definitely needs food. Because we took his food. Uh, one is like 2.5, okay. Let's say we give him 10 food. Then we pay him like 5,000. That's, oh, less than that. Okay, it's so like three, two turns of payment. Two, two turn, two and a half turns of the trade income. Probably like 3,000 flat. Okay, a little bit more than 3,000 flat. 95. There we, oh, too much. 75. 55. Oh my god. 59. What? Oh, it's always going to be 0.1, isn't it? Okay. Alright, we don't need to take that. I mean, we, we couldn't afford that, basically. I, I could peace out with Yuan Shu, and that would allow us to move through his territory because I, I don't want to spend a turn taking that city. Like, we can take it, but, like, why would we? You'll be Yama. And we can get some deals with him. Oh, he wants to sign now, aggression. Military access? Wow, both positive. Okay, so we're going to do this first. We get two separate deals with him. I'm going to request whatever amount he has. And then go down from there. Probably like 1125-ish. Oh, more than that. 69. Perfect. And then we want to sign a military. Oh, now it's negative. Hmm. How did that happen? It's two. It's one food plus some change. Actually, no. He's only one point five plus some change. Three food plus some change. Play like two hundred. Uh, even less. Alright, now we can move through his land, and we have food agreement with him, so he's not going to attack us. Also, this army is out of the way. It's only Dian Wei's army. Yuan Shao has another one full stack. Cao Cao has two, three stacks. And Tai Mao is coming here to take this, which we... Oh, we can stop that. But then we'll lose the bonus here. We can stop this. We're gonna send the kids out. Because this is a tool maker, I'm pretty sure I can loop them. Alright, let's see how things go. We're kind of in this crazy war right now. And we're how many turns away from? Seven turns away? Okay, so this is going to be a tough seven turns. Let's go. Oh? See? All those releasing. All those releasing made him like us. He's only minus 30 with us right now. And Kong Rui Wanlong, his allies, 
because we have beat so many of his generals, he likes us so much more. Yeah, sure. I mean, right now the big deal is Cao Cao and Yuan Shao's group, so that's one down. Diplomacy. Alright, ambush failed, but even then we can still night battle them. Which takes away our city. Okay, so we don't want night battle. How is this a close victory, even like... No, we're night battling. We're fighting this. We're gonna crush them. I mean, we have no health. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. But the problem is if we delegate... And it doesn't look any better in terms of our health, especially with Dai Lai's health. I'm gonna trust the system here. Fingers crossed. Uh, lost two elephants? Definitely employ. Ah, uh, Cao Cao stacks are here. So we definitely gotta run for this one. The question is, will Cao Cao's other stack chase us? So right now it's three stacks, four stacks against one. We're not fighting this many generals with our health, so we just gotta retreat. Hopefully retreat into friendly territory, because retreat into enemy territory, we're equally screwed. <laughs> we retreat into Dian Wei's army. Okay, this is at least better than what it was before. This, I think we can win. And once we win this, we're still in friendly territory, we'll heal up during the end turn, and things should be fine. We just have to beat Dian Wei. Um, okay, we will make this happen. We'll try to throw two daggers to kill these two. Oh, she has an Uriya. Oh, no, she has Nu Shu Bifa. This is Liu Chong's old faction, not Liu Dai's. The new flags, who can tell? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna try to get Liu Chong's book. Yeah, the army's not that scary. We got this. Alright, everyone's super low health. Um after that delegate win, but we have a ton of tigers. The range tigers are really good in delegate because they're considered a range unit, so they're in the back, they don't get hurt first. That's our strength. Our other strength is we have daggers, and if she falls, everyone else will heal quite a bit. Um, she already has a bad trait. He doesn't, so I don't want him to actually die first here. We also have fire arrows. And we have guerrilla deployment. Alright, so we want to burn down the trees. We'll release the tigers when we come close. Flank. Boost. We'll go third daggers. She'll go by herself because Meng Huo also heal. Alright, we have actually uh, Mission Impossible this. We'll try to loot behind. We'll get exposed. I won't see if the cavalry respawn or not. If they respawn, we're really screwed. We're 128, she's- that's 95. Okay, we're fine. We just keep moving. It shouldn't be able to hit us. What? They can hit us? I mean, they're not accurate. I hope not. Smash. Four. Oh, throw the traps. Yes, throw the traps right here. Perfect. Kill all of you guys. Strategist. None of them has the block ability one, so we can throw close range. Did we hit them? Oh, we missed. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, we missed. They're moving. It's a fire dagger? That's pretty cool. Alright, 
these guys are gone, but they're gonna come back, so we're gonna go actually take care of that. That is actually still a win for us. We still have two daggers. Now, maybe planting them into Dan Wei might be better. But there's a cavalry group right next to him, so that could be a tricky situation. Oh. We missed again. Oh no, we hit her. He's dead. Time to go. We got one dagger left. Either we kill another strategist. Okay, we gotta kill these crossbowmen. Ah, oh, they ran to them. Not good, not good. Unleash. They'll go after them. Ah, uh, we bumping into things. Still on our horse, though. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Wait, wait, wait. Zhuko! Oh, there we go. Full heal? Full heal. Family buff OP. Alright, the tigers are gonna be able to take down the cavalry because they're actually in range. We're not boosting the right things. Now we are. Crossbow is definitely going to murder us, but Dai Lai and uh, Meng Huo with the angry fallen Othom, fallen, fallen family, fallen relative buffs are going to tear them apart. Ooh, damn, we're fighting tigers? I mean, if it's Xu Chu here, Xu Chu is nicknamed. Wow, that formation just got ripped up. Alright, the fire's gonna spread towards them. I don't actually think I need to go anywhere. That light, take him. Oh yeah, back to Xu Chu is actually known as the Tiger's Fool. Because, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a nickname that he, he liked and he stuck with. He's called Hu Ho, right? The, you know, the Tiger's Marquee. It, it's a nickname, it's not actually a title. Cao Cao eventually made him that title, but... That was not the intention. He's just a bodyguard. Xu Shu is very historically like very low key type of guy. He rubbed a lot of Cao Cao's relative the wrong way because Xu Shu was basically his, in his mind, you know, as Cao Cao's bodyguard, he shouldn't fraternize with any of Cao Cao's relatives or any of the Xiaohou, the in-laws either. So he pretty much just like spurn everyone whenever they would like ask him for stuff and just didn't even talk to them all right that's it we win i really like dan Wei. he was my favorite during dynasty warriors wait why are we not victory yet there we go uh one Lady Sacrifice helped a lot of things. Alrighty, and that's why we put families and oath thorns together in armies for situations like that. Recruit, recruit, recruit. Yes. Right, two strategists for assignments, one more siege weapon, and also Dan Wei is ours. Uh, I didn't check if he had any bad traits. He does not. Okay, beautiful. Um, Replenishment? Actually, no. Generals are full health. I think we'll take income. Alright, that was a super fortunate uh, chain of events. Uh, we're being sieged. Doesn't matter. We don't need to worry about the siege. We'll, we'll break that siege, no problem. We're going to end our episode here. What we're going to do next episode is we're going to pop open the siege. We're going to take out this army first with night battle. Then we're going to summon Huang Gai here, which will add a f another full stack. And then maybe Dian Wei as well. And then we'll have a showdown with the Sao brothers. Uh, everyone's full health, because, you know, after you get knocked out, you bounce back. With resiliency. She already had this uh, when we got her, so that's nothing new. I think um, Yang Feng actually gave her that. Dai Lai is still pristine. Uh, we kept him that way. Uh, unfortunately, Mu Lu gave us that, so uh, we were not perfect um, since a while. We don't have to defend against this. We don't have to defend against that. 
So now it's basically Cao Cao and Yuan Shao, and we can counterattack Nanyang because uh, Liu Bei lost it, which is kind of our plan there too. So things are going pretty well. We survived the big burst. Liu Bei is going for them. We're going for this, and then we're also massively counterattacking everywhere on Lady Wu. So we'll be able to take many of these places. Her capital is right here, kind of exposed in Ling Ling. I don't really want it. I want this. So I think like this army, after we take Wu Ling, will march towards from the north, towards the armor craftsmen and the tea. Uh, we'll let her have all the big cities and choke out the food supply. And this army will go into Tang Wu to grab these. They have multiple stacks here. So good thing we kept this one here. The ambush, no one's coming. Bang Long sailing down here to fight us. What does he want? Uh, we'll be beating him. Wu Su is in this army. All right, we just beat Huang Gai. We'll easily wipe him out. He's on march, so we'll just go grab him real quick. And then we'll also be marching up. Um, he has really cheap, you know, ways to get settlements, and we'll be taking those over from him. We'll probably go into the water, wipe out Wang Long, go to the trade port. We'll buff this army up a little bit, and things should be okay. Um, we definitely, you know, stepped on the anthill here by accidentally provoking Lady Wu by declaring war on Yuan Shu because we thought we could just move through. And then he backed out of the war, dragged the ally in, and now the ally has to fight us. So that's the case. Uh, we probably hit our victory condition around the next two episodes, and uh, we'll probably continue for a little bit. We'll have a little bit of fun with Lady Wu, a little bit of fun with Cao Cao and Yuan Shao, fight some of these famous generals, and then just call it. We don't have to conquer the whole map. That gets a bit dull. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you guys next time. Bye!